Yo guys, it's Oli Tai here, and today we are back with another FIFA 21 video as it is about 20 seconds until the new season drops along with Future Stars Team 2 and possibly Icon Swaps 2. So, uh, it's the first video I've, I've uploaded in a while it feels like, well first proper one anyway. There just hasn't been much for me to upload. Is it hitting 6? Wait for it. There we go, 6 p.m. and let's see what we have. The I already know the future stars teams it was leaked. Yep, there you go. There's Curtis Jones and Rayner. Help. Oh. Yeah, I already knew the future stars team as it was leaked on 433 Esports uh, Instagram and then they deleted it. That was like 20 minutes ago. So, yeah, I already know the team, but I didn't know Curtis Jones and Rayner. <laughs> we can't get in. I might play for Rain as he is a Bundesliga striker. But can I be bothered? Let's try one more time. We see the team. There is the team. A couple of dead players like Oscar. Um, who else is pretty dead? Bastoni, I guess. And uh, Neuhaus is, is okay. Anthony might be good. Alright, we're in. Let's have a look, first of all, at the objectives. Oh, it's Academy Rain, and let's go! I'm, I'm going to be doing this. I'm actually going to be doing this, because you get all the cards from him. So there's a 78 rated one to start off with, which doesn't even look like that bad of a card. So you just need to score four goals using forwards. So it's pretty similar to last year. So it's a very easy objective. You'll do it accidentally, and you get a 78 rated Rainer. Score three goals, assist two. And score with him in four separate matches to get an 82, which doesn't look too bad either. Assist three goals with three balls. Assist four using him in managerial masterpiece. And there's an 85 striker, which looks like a great card. If I can't be bothered to get the 87, I'll get the 85, because that doesn't look like a good card. Score using Rayner in six separate matches in life at friendlies. Scoring six wins. Score six finesses. Score a brace in three separate games. Score in 16 separate matches. You can sort off if you think I'm doing that. And play 25 games. I might just go for the 85 because it, look, it looks good enough. Like, not much of a difference. There's two pace, three shooting, one pass and two dribbling. Yeah, we've got week one bronze. Future stars kill. That doesn't look too bad. Let's have a look at season progress. So, the first players are Waldschmidt, if that's how you pronounce it. It actually looks like quite a good card. High medium, four star, four star, good start. Bit of a weird pace split, but looks decent, fast enough. Good shooting. Good passing. It's up the long passing a bit, but it's got great short passing. Good agility and balance. And good physicals, that's actually a very good card. And Sensei, the centre-back for Feyenoord, so I guess I'm looking at other leagues. Medium-high, I mean, two-star, three-star, it's not exactly the worry for a defender. But medium-high, uh, not bad. Uh, decent pace, decent passing, yeah, good enough passing. A bit more on the junk and balance, but again, for a defender, it doesn't really matter. Great defending, great physical. That looks like a good set. Uh, Ered V centre back. You compare him up with Baumgartel from the Foundations and Musa Dembele. He's back. Four star, three star. High, high. So he'd be a very good box to box. 6 1. Decent pace. You can always like, slap a shadow in or something. Okay, shooting. Good shooting from outside the box, but. Okay, shooting from inside the box. He's got decent passing. Great short and long passing. Just crossing, free kick accuracy, curves a bit there. Great dribbling. Well, a bit low on agility, but apart from that, it's really good dribbling. Uh, defending is actually not bad, so you're better off playing him CGM instead of Cam. And the physicals are very good as well. Out of that, I'll probably be taking Waldschmidt, because he's German and I can build a hybrid. And to me, he probably has the best card. 
And here's the end player. We have Adnan Yanazai. Okay, four star, four star is good. Medium low, it's not bad, but it's better than low medium. Uh, great pace, decent shooting, or well, good shooting. Uh, good passing, good dribbling, good physical. You know, that's that's a good solid card. If you're in a La Liga team and can't afford Messi or Cuba or Porto, then you might be the one to go for. We have De Ciclio. I didn't even realise he transferred. That's another good. Another good league and left back. I would have rather the Bundesliga left right back, sorry. Because uh, I've got regular Mukiele. He started scoring a bit recently, a couple of headers, but. You see, your medium, medium. I think those are good work rates for a full back because you want him to attack and to defend. Four star, four star is good as well. Great pace. Uh, shooting, don't really need shooting on a full back. Passing is very good. Uh, dribbling is good. Defending's good and physical's good. A lot of good cards here. And Sessignon. I might go for him if I get to level 30. Four star, four star, high, medium. It's great. Uh, great pace. 90 finishing on the lad. Great passing. Great agility and balance. Great dribbling. It's actually got okay defending and good physicals. You know, Sessignon. I might actually play for him. Because that is actually a very underrated card. Is there a new team's objective? I've got a pack for it anyway. Because I... No new team's objective. That's fine. Is there any milestones? Of course not. So, no icon swaps by the looks of it. Uh, SBCs then. So as we saw, there was a Curtis Jones play pick. Ilkay Gund one player of the month. It's not worth it. He's roughly the same cost as a... Normal 86 card, so if you have the fodder, then go for it. But Curtis Jones, you can get some left mid with 90 pace, so better pace shooting and dribbling. Or you can get him as a centre mid with better passing, defending, and physical. This is the first one where I think it's actually going to be quite close. Hmm. Yeah, I actually don't know who to pick. His, his centre mid's hung at gang mind. You'll have to what you have to get other people's verdict on it, honestly. They both look very good cards. 83, 85, and 86. Ooh. Prime Electrum and Rare Mix aren't bad. Uh Jumbo Premium Gold Pack as well. It actually does look like a good card though, it does look like he's worth it. Have we got anything else? Need, still need to do marking matchups. A few stars challenge for a rare mixed players pack. Is that it? That looks to be it. <clears throat> so we'll build the Future Stars Challenge here. Um, League 6. One club minimum 3. You know, we're not building that. <clears throat> I'll probably do it in my spare time, but i am midway through having my tea to come record this. Hang on. Did I not get a pack for the team's objective? I swear I got a pack for the team's objective. Yeah, I swear I got one. Oh well. Well, <clears throat> that is going to be it for today's video. I'm going to go and play it for Rainer. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.